Hello, this is Asanash Park. I am here today with another short and precise tutorial and the topic of discussion today is data versus information. For a non-technical person, the data and information may mean the same thing. But for a technical person or for a computer science student, this is very important to understand the technical difference between data and information. And I'll try to discuss the difference with examples and from different perspectives and I'm pretty sure that at the end of this lecture you'll be able to understand and demonstrate the difference between data and information. So let's start. The difference between data and information can be understood from the perspective of input and output from the perspective of processing and in the end in terms of decision making. So I'll try to explain each with example so that you are under you are able to understand things well. Okay, so let's start. Difference in terms of input and output. Now this is the most simplest definition of input and output for a non-technical person. The easiest way to differentiate between them is by telling that data is anything which we give as an input to the computer using input devices and output is anything which we take from the computer using output devices for example you are writing some text or you entering some text to the computer through keyboard so this is your data and when you are getting the text back on your LED screen or monitor this is the information or in a, for another example, let's suppose you are listening to the music. So the, your, the sound you are getting from the speakers, that is an output. That is an output because it is provided to you by the computer using output devices. So this is the simplest way to define or to differentiate between data and information. That is to differentiate it in terms of input and output. Whatever is given as an input to the computer, that's it, that is our data and whatever is taken as an output from the computer that is our information but for a non-technical person this is enough but for a technical person or a computer science student the difference is quite large and it cannot be explained well by this definition so let's move forward now defining the difference in terms of processing data is actually in unprocessed form while information is in processed form that is the second point let's explain it with the help of an example consider this example 2 plus 2 now what is this this is actually data how I come to know that this is data this is because this is in unprocessed form how what's written is 2 plus 2 Actually, this plus is the processing or is the operation that is required to be performed between 2 and 2. So, unless and until the plus operation is applied on this datum, always remember that datum is actually the singular of data. Data is a plural word. Okay, coming back to the topic. 2 plus 2, the plus or addition operation is not yet applied. So, this is actually the data. As I said above, data is in unprocessed form so this 2 plus 2 is in unprocessed form the processing hasn't been applied yet but if we apply the processing by performing the addition operation between 2 plus 2 what we get we get 4 now this 4 is actually the information coming back to the definition as I said data is in unprocessed form while information is in processed form so this 2 plus 2 on the left hand side this is actually our data while after the processing is performed we get 4 and that 4 is our information that's why the bookish definition says that data is the collection of raw facts and figures while information is the processed form of data so 4 is actually the processed form or the information we get after applying addition operation in 2 plus 2 so 2 plus 2 is our data and 4 is our information okay now going into some more detail and explaining the difference between data and information in terms of decision making 
always remember that you cannot take decision based upon the data while you can take decision based upon the information now what does it mean let me demonstrate it with the help of a simple example now this is the salary detail of Mr. X, Mr. Y, Mr. Z. I have to take a decision that how much money should be deposited in the account of Mr. X, Mr. Y and Mr. Z as their monthly salary. You can see their basic salary is mentioned here, their monthly allowance is also mentioned here, the deduction, the money that has to be deducted from their basic salary that is also mentioned here and the bonus if any this is also mentioned here. But the question is whether this is data or information. This is definitely data because I cannot take decision upon this that how much money should be deposited for example in the account of Mr. X because the processing which may be addition or subtraction or a combination of both or anything else has not been performed yet. But if we perform this uh, processing we add the allowances to the basic salary and as well as bonus and we subtract the deductions from the basic salary we get a net amount let's see here we go Mr. X has a salary 28,920 which must be deposited in his account similarly Mr. Y and Mr. Z salary is also given now this is something on the basis of which I can take decision if we go to the previous slide I was not able to take the decision that how much money should be deposited because that was data it was unprocessed but after the processing operation is applied I get the net amount now I know that how much amount should be deposited in the account of Mr. X, Mr. Y and Mr. Z why because this was actually the information this which is the processed form of data so as I said earlier and I demonstrated it with the help of an example that I took a decision on the basis of information so in short what we conclude that data is actually what is given as an input to the computer which is in unprocessed form. The computer actually performs the processing and transforms the data into information. Moreover, we cannot take decision on the basis of data but we can definitely take decision on the basis of information. Thank you very much. Hope you like the tutorial. Please do not forget to like my channel in the description below. Thank you very much.